Hello friend, this is Kalpesh Tasya. In this video, we are going to learn Vue.js validation using Vue Validate. Any application is very important for the validation because the client side validation is very important as well as server side. So in this video, we are going to learn about the Vue Validate which is used for the client side validation. So how we use Vue Validate? Let's see the code through i have already created one component registration component and in this component i used some fields which is the name email address and phone number then so let's go through code and i will explain one by one once we install the view we will date we need to import it and once imp import then we need to register it so that we can utilize the we will edit in our form we will edit is a one kind of directory so we can utilize as a directory kind of stuff so we can pass two way kind of stuff in the directory that is one is a string kind of stuff and second one is the json kind of object so whenever we need to require a validate one of controls so we just need to require as we validate directory and just simple as if it is required field only then we need to pass as a string format as a required we have two way like uh, one is this like simple passing as a string and one is the passing as a uh, just an object and we already also support the multiple conditions also apply here you can see that this is the email so we can use the required slash email and we already also giving the built-in uh, in like built-in validation this from this website and see check like what are the building building validation given so here we use the required and email but if you want you can customize you can create your own custom and utilize it and you can see the phone number uh, we have used like uh, just some kind of object we have passing through the will directory so here I using multiple validation criteria this is the required is true numeric because I'm going to use the phone number so it's numeric only and minimum 10 digit and maximum digit uh, I use maximum because I just want to pass the multiple para multiple parameter passing through the validate so this is the simple and uh, once you do, once you apply the, all the fields validation then we have one, we need to require the submit so we have this um, uh, different events uh, provided by view so we utilize the one submit event with the prevent and on submit method we have implemented here so definitely this is the part of the we validate we validate is given the validator dot validate all then give the promise then and the result is success if all validation is uh, success then it result is given true so our form is submitted so let's move to the so i have a simple form If I'm directly clicking on the submit, it will all the files is fired. So let's we put it one by one. Yes, this is Kalpesh. Kalpesh at test.com. Here is phone number. So suppose I'm starting with any non numeric character. So it's starting to give me the error. So this is only numeric character. I'm starting to the numeric character. This is one to ten. I have submit it. Submit. So th this is the way we have uh, the form validation is applying using the VVL date. Hopefully you like it. I am going to share this code. Uh, you can get it from my GitHub account. Thank you.